Hello everyone, welcome back to another Let's Try episode of Immortal Mark. And this game I'm giving you is a bit of a... An ob well, it's, ob it's obscure to me because I've never really heard of it before, but I saw a bit of gameplay out on YouTube and it just looked really cool if I'm going to be honest with you. Loving the music, yeah. We're English. What, what? Right, 1995, okay. Let's check the sound levels. Let's give this a go. So we got... Oh my god, Mama, no. Thwank. Thwank. Thwank, what? Bouncer. Captain Hands, he actually looks awesome. Birch, who looks like Miss Doubtfire and Jason Statham had a baby. And then you got Vox. We'll go with Captain Hands. Level 1, prison holding cells. Objectives, find exit to the next level. Okay. Pretty standard. Right, well... The character really does look in a better place, but I suppose it's got to be a cartoonish sort of... character. Can't go that way just yet. I found a yellow key card. Oh, 
stuck with the weapons that we've actually been given at the beginning, which is fine. I don't want the other weapons to ever die. Took care of them, took care of these three. Killed the big bloke. Like mini Uncle Festers over there. Fucking right.
actually do. I put it to the test, it fucking works. Oh, 
me to think that we shouldn't even just be in this corridor. Dealt with that room. Dealt with that room. Ah, oh. you know that's where I'm gonna leave things. Because to be fair, let's just to uh, try this game out. But in fact, no, I won't leave things there, actually. Let's just see what the final life like is. Next, uh, and so we may try reloading for the sequel. Um, I may look into this further off screen, see if I want to do a let's play this at some point. For me, it's a really good game so far, it has the potential to go far. It depends if the story's nice enough because at the moment I have no idea what's going on. All I know is I'm there in a prison, we're making an escape, that's it. And we've got men who are dressed as women, women who are dressed as men, and cowboys, and stuff like that. I just don't get it. But so far, not a bad game. Plenty of gore, which I'm surprised at for the PlayStation 1. Anyways, thanks for your time, guys. I'll see you in the next installment. Goodbye for now.